Stephanie Shea, Chief Astrologer for JanSpiller.com with your monthly horoscope. And this is the special Taurus birthday horoscope. I like to get these out early. So I consider May the month that is mostly Taurus energy. So you're getting to see your May horoscope in April. Get a, a little bit of a heads up on the next couple months. Be sure and watch your April birthday video or just your April horoscope video, I should say, first, and then you can watch this May one right after. And happy birthday, whether your birthday was back in April or it's in May. Um, some exciting times ahead for you. We've got Mercury moving into Gemini on May the 3rd, and this is really activating the second house of finance in Taurus people's charts, uh, Taurus sun people, Taurus rising people. The first half of the month is going to be especially powerful for any connections, communications, ideas that have to do with work, money-making ideas, whether you work for yourself or others. So try to make the most of that before things slow down. We will have a Mercury retrograde at the end of the month. I'll tell you more about that towards the end of this horoscope. But as we begin May, the energies to make new connections is still really strong. So May the 8th, we have Venus moving into Gemini. And Venus will be in Gemini until June the 1st. This is also great money mojo for Taurus people. I think it's also going to really help to cultivate some decisions that honor your self-worth. This could involve being paid what you're worth, but it may also involve engaging more in relationships that recognize your value um, or finding the people who align with your values is a strong theme. Now, May the 11th is your special new moon. It's the 21 degree Taurus new moon. So any Taurus babies born on or around May the 11th are going to be in store for some big new beginnings this year. Anytime the new moon falls right on your birthday, or maybe within a day or so, you are ready for a new chapter. You're probably already feeling it. Um, if you happen to be 21 degrees Taurus rising or right around that degree, the same can apply. This could be a big year ahead for you. Be sure to set your new moon intentions, not just for the next moon cycle, but for the year ahead. And if you watch your April horoscope, you know we just had a huge Aries new moon in April that had to do with setting intentions for the year ahead. So you're sort of getting a bonus here. Um, make the most of that, Taurus. This is kind of your time to really get some things going in a bigger picture way for yourself. Now on May 13th, Jupiter will enter the sign of Pisces. It's kind of a sneak preview in the sense that over the summer, Jupiter will go retrograde and re-enter Aquarius again. So we won't officially see Jupiter in Pisces until December 28th, and then it's going to stay in that sign most of next year. But what we do get is from May the 13th until July 27th, a little taste of, okay, here's Jupiter in the first few degrees of Pisces. It's a little magic for some of these big picture dreams you've been setting. I think it's going to be a wonderful time to make some fortuitous connections. And for you, there'll probably be an emphasis on being of service to others and a certain luck that is going to be attracted when you set your intentions in a way that aren't only self-serving. All the intentions that have to do with helping other people are going to bring you lots of rewards and benefit. So you can look forward to that. Now, May the 20th, the sun moves into Gemini, again, kind of highlighting finances, but at this point, we're getting close to Mercury retrograde. So I would recommend reviewing finances. Um, I would try to avoid big purchases after the 15th because Mercury retrograde can kind of create that buyer's remorse. You may not be thinking as clearly as you think. It'd be better to research a big purchase you may have coming 
sometimes things break and you have to do it anyway during Mercury retrograde or the shadow of Mercury retrograde, that's fine, but just get a good warranty. I'm pretty practical. You can't stop your life when <laughs> Mercury is retrograde, but you can try to plan around it. And if you have the power to wait, that's the best bet. Now, there's Saturn stationing retrograde on May 23rd, and it will stay retrograde until October 10th. And anything Saturn is doing this year is affecting Taurus people in a bigger way because Saturn is in Aquarius, which happens to square the sign of Taurus. So if you have been feeling this has been a time you're coming into where you're faced with certain limitations and you're trying to learn how to work with what you have, how to be more realistic, that's a theme, um, what things can you do to feel more free instead of focusing on limitations? These could be big themes. And if you were born around May 4th or you have around 13 degrees of Taurus rising, I think when Saturn stations retrograde on the 23rd, you may really be feeling it. And it's a time to reprioritize for yourself. And you can kind of make a game plan of, what parts of your life do you want to reconfigure over the next few months while Saturn is in retrograde? Now, we've got the lunar eclipse, May 26. This is pretty exciting. You can learn a lot more about this eclipse in another video that I've made about the eclipses of 2021. But know that it highlights the need for freedom, letting go of absolutes, um, and the tendency to especially in personal relationships, to think who's right and who's wrong, and instead seeing a bigger picture and acknowledging a spectrum of experiences and ideas. That's just sort of some of the flavor of it. Full moons stir emotions anyway, but when it's an eclipse, it could be intense. So it's always good to have a heads up around the date of these eclipses because you can get some perspective and realize a few days after this full moon eclipse has passed, you'll probably be seeing things a bit more clearly and in more of a balanced way. But whatever comes to light is certainly important and needs to be addressed. So as we finish out the month, of course, we've got that Mercury retrograde coming up May 29th, goes till June 22nd. But even during the second half of May, we'll enter the shadow phase around May 15th. You can start slowing down, seeing what you need to finish and set some plans maybe for June to wrap things up so that as we go into July, you can get started with something brand new. That could be your reward <laughs> for finishing your work. So I hope you can make the most of May's astrology. Happy birthday again. And I will see you here soon with more horoscopes and astrological forecasts.